<laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Uh, joining us in the studio from the film, I want to get the film right, of Dustin Bones. I have the screenwriter and the director, Diane Bell, Gaynor Howe, who is the lead actor, actress, and then Tennyson. Tennyson is also in the film. Am I correct on that? Does he have a big part in the film, this guy, or what? Um, no, it's not, a, it's not a very big part. I mean, to be honest, I was like developing the movie and we were out in Joshua Tree, which is where we shot it. Oh, nice. And at this point, there was no child in the film, right? And I was taking pictures and he was like, he was only three at the time. He was running around in the desert. And there was something so beautiful about the image of a child running around the desert. And I was like, I, I don't know, I just feel like I have to put him in there. And, How fun. And he ended up, the film is quite poetic in a way. And it's about a lady who's got a lot of, who's dealing with a lot of grief and she's living in the desert with memories and also the sort of dreams of what her life should have been. And so the child is sort of the representation of, of like her hope or what, and what she hoped her life was going to be. Like she okay. thought she was going to have a child and, and be happy and, you know, and instead she's not. So again, you're the lady that's in the desert. I am the lady <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> How long did the shoot take? How long were you in Joshua Tree? Gosh, um, it was a relatively short oh, shoot, but um, we were in the desert for a bit longer. So it was great. I actually had a, a, about almost a week before we started shooting just to um, be there and get acclimatized with the desert, yeah. having come from, come from London, which was really great for me as, um, just to get into the character as well, because you know I, I was able to live Cleo's life and kind of get up in the morning and go walking for sure. hours. And, and you're you know, coming from the hustle and bustle of London Absolutely, also. So to yeah. put yourself into the vastness yeah, of, yeah. of a desert, it probably takes some yeah, it was wonderful. Acclimating, not just you know physically, but mentally and emotionally. Absolutely, for sure. All of those things, yes. Okay, the Vell Film Festival. It's yeah. your first time being here. It is. Um, your first time being here also. Yes. Your first time being here. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm guessing probably so. Um, 15th annual, and we were at the red carpet uh, re opening show the other night, right. and it was just a good crowd of people. It's good energy. Yeah. What can people expect? Like, when is your film going to air? When are we going to see it? Mm -hmm. And this is kind of the that pinnacle of what's the response going to be, right? Is that what yeah, you Yeah, so our film is, uh, is premiering today at 4.30, so okay. if anyone wants to come. They go ski in the morning and then go exactly. to the film festival. Exactly, exactly. Right? And um, it's the world premiere, so this is the very first time that's been shown anywhere, which is always kind of excruciating. It's got to be excruciating. <laughs> it's, it's probably like so many emotions going on because yeah. you're so curious and anxious and you know, I'm wow. just really happy. And you too, right? Like with this yes. film, I'm just happy for it to, to get out into the world. It's, I think its time has come. And it's just, I mean, this film, it does feel timely. It's partly, I mean, the, the lady in it is suffering from grief because her husband was killed. He was a war photographer in Syria. And, you know, it's kind of, it touches a lot about, you know, what's happening in Syria and how we're not doing anything about it. And so the film, you know, it just feels like, it feels like the right time for this film right. to be seen, you know? Well, at 4 o'clock today, it's going to be yes. soon. And you have a workshop going on also. Tell us about that. I do. That. I'm teaching a workshop at 1.30 today. Um, and I think there's still some spots. And the workshop is about like how to make a movie. So if you dream about making a movie, but you really don't know like how you go about it, like where do you raise the money from? How much money do you need? Where right. are you going to get it? You know, What do you need in order to go and raise money? You know, These are the things we cover. And also, like, what do you do once you've made a film? So you know, it's really like, for me, I, I started out as a screenwriter. I wasn't a filmmaker. Um, what I teach is really just trying to demystify the process of filmmaking okay. for storytellers who want to make movies. You know, but maybe people who haven't identified as a filmmaker before. So excited. Nice to meet you. So lovely to meet you, Again, Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, too. Tennyson. Give me some. Nice to meet you, too. Congrats with everything. We're Thank excited you. about it. Thank and you so enjoy much. enjoy your time in Vail. Maybe go ski for a amazing, little bit today. Yeah. All right, we have Ashley up on Vail Mountain with First Chair. We're going to take a look at that weather forecast. Big snow coming our way. She'll let you know how much.